You guys are ridiculous, okay? <laughs> this year. There's so many signatures on this. Oh, God. Okay. So, oh my God, this is so soft. I'm just like a nap right here, seriously. I, I, I might just. Uh, oh my God, it's so cute. It's amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, okay, let's put it, put it over here. And then God, this... The, the, did it, I hope you all picked up the print of the 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 the, 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 the combo cover from. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm a little flustered right now. <laughs> from Jada Jinx that you made this year. This has like 50 billion signatures on it. Oh, uh, thank you guys. Jeez, Lord. Okay. Let's do a round of applause for our sponsors here. <laughs> I got my photographer right here. I'm a little worried about the lights catching in the glare of the tears in my eyes right now. Yeah. Literally, like, stays up till 
5 or 6 o'clock in the morning trying to finish con stuff before he has to be leaving the house at 7 to go to his, like, regular day job to pay the bills. So, um, I think one more round of applause for this. <laughs> So enough about me. No, but seriously, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. My God, I mean, like, I, I don't take compliments well. I really don't. So it's it, it means so much to me. I've talked to so many people this weekend that have told me just how much fun they've had and how great the con has been. And I, whenever I take stuff like that, when I take your guys' compliments and the and these these incredible gifts and, and gestures of gratitude. Okay, I All I can do is reflect that back out on every single staff member that I have. Good. Because no matter how much work I put into this, I, I could not do it without every single one of those 114 people that we have on staff this year. So please give it up for them. group photo at the end, so that is still coming for sure. Um, but in addition to the staff that helps make these conventions happen, uh, I, we are all volunteers. We do not get paid. So we could not do it without the support of our sponsors. I know several of them are up on the stage right now, and then there are so many more of you out there. So please, please give an even your biggest round of applause you can muster for our sponsors. this year so far and, and there, there's a couple source uh, a couple different uh, avenues that some additional donations are going to be coming in cards against equestria bake off um, additional CD sales that uh, happened before the con started but we are at 23,000 Managed to donate, give some money right out of your wallet, right out of your hearts. But we are a part of a fandom, right? So this is one convention out of many that have happened over the years. And I'm very proud to say that as part of this fandom, you guys have contributed to a total throughout the life of the fandom of one million dollars. <laughs> So if you have ever donated to a Tony Convention Cherry Auction, you are a part of that. And you should feel great about that. Because that is just one of the best parts about this fandom is just the generosity and the kindness and everything. It's just, oh, just oh, make me so happy. <laughs> I make no promises. I, I, I literally cry at commercials, okay? <laughs> so let's talk about attendance. So last year, our attendance number 
just gonna double check, make sure I say the right thing. Was clinical study test 2017 was 1,064. Our previous, it was down a little bit from the previous year. I, I call it the John Delancey effect. Um, our previous year was 1,158. That was 2016. Pony Cider Fest 2018. 1,300. <laughs> I just have to ask, does it look like this fandom is dying to you? Fuck no! Hell no! How many people, how many people is this your first brony convention? is not shrinking. This fandom is growing with dedicated people that love this show just as much as the rest of us. So I don't think we're going anywhere anytime soon. On that note, you may have noticed a couple things in the convo. The back cover, of course, we have already announced is very, uh, very difficult to miss. Winnie City PonyCon, our other convention, will be returning April 13th through 15th to the Schaumburg Hyatt down in Illinois. If you, okay, so who here has not been to Wind City before? See, I know that's a big number of you. I know, what, what I've discovered in looking at numbers is that we, is that the conventions do, there's a very large percentage of attendees that are local. So I imagine, how many, how many of you that just raised your hands are, are like from like the Wisconsin, like Minnesota area? See, like a pretty good percentage, right? Not all, but a pretty good percentage. Just out of curiosity, how many of you came to Ciderfest this, the Ciderfest this year because R.I.P. and I mean I mean that sincerely, um, Nightmare Nights is no longer with us. Huh. Uh, for how many of you was this was this your replacement? Okay, so a couple, a couple. Cool, cool. I'm glad that we were able to provide something along those lines for you. Like nothing will ever replace Nightmare Nights. We're not even going to try. But and I mean, I mean that in a good way. Like it was a very special convention. I know it meant a lot to a lot of people. So um, I'm glad that you uh, made the journey up this way, I'm assuming, to join us. So I'm, I'm hoping you had a good time. But that is one opportunity you'll have to, uh, to join us next year. Of course, I'm sure you want to know if Cider Fest is coming back next year, right? Yeah. 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 Well, we are. Yeah. We're gonna get back to you on the dates, just because there's a little. We're uh, we're uh, we, we just want to make sure that we say the right thing. But we are. There is no question about it. We are returning next year. That's not all. Oh. I am. In, I am incredibly happy to announce. But there is going to be a third opportunity next year for us to get together. Oh. That was the video cue, guys. 